हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू योर ओन यूट्यूब चैनल योर ओन पाठशाला ज्योतिशाला वेलकम टू द सीरीज ऑफ आर चैनल फ्रेंड्स वीव ऑलरेडी कंप्लीटेड विद एक्ट वन सीन वन एंड एक्ट वन सीन टू सो इन दिस वीडियो विल बी स्टार्टिंग विद एक्ट वन सीन थ्री नाउ बिफोर मूविंग टू द मेन टेक्स्ट ऑफ एक्ट वन सीन थ्री लेट मी गिव यू अ शॉर्ट डिस्क्रिप्शन अबाउट वॉट वी हैव ऑलरेडी डन इन एक्ट वन सीन वन एंड एक्ट वन सीन टू सो दैट इट विल बी इजी फॉर यू टू कनेक्ट विद द ऑन गोइंग सीन दैट इज एक्ट वन सीन थ्री now before moving to that also friends if you do like my videos then please like and share with your friends and if not if you have not subscribed my channel until now then do subscribe my channel and also don't forget to press the bell icon button friends if you have any queries and feedback you can give give to me in the comment section also if you want question and answers of important extracts from act 1 scene 1 and act 1 scene 2 you can let me know in the comment section so that i can help you out personally now moving to the description of act 1 scene 1 and act 1 scene 2 so in for in the first scene we saw that antonio was in the melancholy mood and his friend bassanio lorenzo and graciano they all were trying to console him out from by console him by giving the sweet words they are trying to console his friends uh, his friend antonio by giving the sweet words and we also saw that antonio was uh, unaware of the reasons of his sadness on the contrary in the second scene we saw that portia was in the melancholy mood and she was but she was very much aware of the reasons of her sadness and her maid narissa was trying to give uh, sweet words to her madam and she was trying to overcome her madam by giving her sweet words so we also see that we also see that the reason uh, what was the reason of uh, portia's sadness portia was sad because she was tied by her dead father's will according to which she was debarred by choosing her husband on her own uh, instead she was tied she was tied by her dead father's will according to which three caskets were decided that were made of gold silver and lead one in which a beautiful portrait of beautiful portia was kept and whosoever suitor chooses the correct casket would be able to marry her so this was the reason of her sadness of portia's sadness now moving to the third scene so i'll give you here i'll give you two things that is the introduction to the third scene as well as the character sketch of shylock now who shylock is shylock is a jewish money lender and he is introduced for the first time in the play and so in this scene we see the introduction of this character that is named shylock he is a money lender he is a, he is a jew he is a money lender so i'll give you a short description uh, uh, about his character sketch in a little while so that it will be easy for you to connect with the character as and how we will flow along with the drama along with the play so moving firstly i'll give you an introduction about the scene what the scene is all about so here we have to go a little bit uh, a little bit back to act 1 scene 1 we saw that bassanio uh, in this uh, third scene we'll see that um, a bond is signed between two characters that is bassanio and shylock now we already know about bassanio who bassanio was so coming to shylock's character coming to shylock so bassanio was the friend of antonio and both were christians that is bassanio and antonio both were christians so here coming to the character coming to shylock now who shylock is shylock is a money lender in venice and he is a jew so a bond is signed between these two uh, characters that is shylock and bassanio why this bond is signed so let's move back to act 1 scene 1 let us connect it with act 1 scene 1 so we saw that in act 1 scene 1 mein humne dekha ki bassanio jo hai wo antonio ka dost hai aur bassanio ko jo hai wo belmont jana hota hai kyunki use portia se shaadi karni hai to use belmont jane ke liye apne aap ko presentable look dena hai jiske liye use kuch paise chahiye iske liye wo apne dost एंटोनियो के पास आते हैं कुछ पैसे उधार मांगने के लिए हम जानते हैं कि बेसे बेसैनियो जो है वो बहुत स्पेंथ्रिफ्ट है उसके हाथ में पैसे बिल्कुल नहीं रहता रहते और वह अपने ऐशो आराम में पूरे अपने पैसे खर्च कर देता है इसके लिए अभी भी उसके पास कुछ कुछ भी पैसे नहीं थे इसीलिए वह अपने दोस्त एंटोनियो के पास जाता है कुछ पैसे की मदद के लिए लेकिन एंटोनियो जो है जो हर वक्त तैयार खड़ा रहता है अपनी दोस्त को मदद करने के लिए उसे उसे मना करना होता है इनकार करना पड़ता है क्योंकि उसके पास एट प्रेजेंट कोई भी कैश नहीं था क्योंकि एंटोनियो के सारे शिप्स जो है मर्चेंडाइज जो है वो सारे समुद्र पर लगे हुए थे कोई भी रेडी कैश उसके पास नहीं था और हम देख हमने देखा है कि एंटोनियो का जहाँ जो 
का कारोबार था तो एट प्रेजेंट उसके पास थोड़ा भी कैश नहीं था इसके लिए एंटोनियो अब अपने दोस्त बेसैनियो को यह एडवाइस करता है कि वह बेसैनियो जो है वो बेलमेंट में वह वेनिस में जाए दूसरे मनी लेंडर्स के पास वेनिस में और उसकी क्रेडिट पे एंटोनियो की क्रेडिट पे कुछ लोन कुछ पैसे उधार ले ले और एंटोनियो के क्रेडिट पे उधार वो ले सकता है ऐसा एंटोनियो ने अपने दोस्त को एडवाइस किया इस कारणवश बेसैनियोज जो है वो जा पहुँचता है शायलॉग के पास कुछ पैसे उधार लेने के लिए और शायलॉग जो कि एक जीव था उस उसे उन्हें उसे जो है कि बिल्कुल भी क्रिश्चियंस पर्सन नहीं थे तो इसीलिए पहले तो शायलॉग जो है वो मना कर देता है बेसैनियो के कि वो कुछ भी पैसे उधार नहीं देगा बेसैनियो को वह इसलिए भी मना कर देता है क्योंकि बेसैनियो जो है वो एंटोनियो का दोस्त था और शायलॉग को पुराने पुर, पुराना बदला लेना है एंटोनियो से उसको एंटोनियो को वो बिल्कुल भी पसंद नहीं करता है और चूँकि बेसैनियो एंटोनियो का दोस्त है इसलिए भी शायलॉग बेसैनियो को मना कर देता है कि वह पैसे उधार नहीं देगा लेकिन कुछ देर बाद सोचने पर वह उस शालोक जो है वो बेसैनियो को लोन देने पर एग्री हो जाता है लेकिन किस शर्त पर वह एक बॉन्ड साइन करता है बेसैनियो के साथ में एक बॉन्ड साइन करता है अकॉर्डिंग टू विच उस बॉन्ड के मुताबिक शालोक को पूरा अधिकार होगा कि यदि बेसैनियो जो है सही समय पर पूरे पैसे नहीं लौटा पाएगा तो शालोक को पूरा अधिकार होगा कि वह शालोक जो है वो एक पाउंड ऑफ फ्लैश एंटोनियो की बॉडी से निकाल सकेगा यदि बेसैनियो जो है पूरे पैसे सही समय पर नहीं लौटा पाएगा तो बेसैनियो जो है इस बात पर एग्री हो जाते हैं क्योंकि बेसैनियो को पूरा एग्री था कि वह पूरे पैसे सही समय पर लौटा देगा तो इसी तो इस बॉन्ड के ये यह बॉन्ड का सिग्नेचर होता है इस इस सीन में जो कि बहुत ही महत्वपूर्ण है पूरे प्ले और पूरे ड्रामा में हम देखेंगे कि बहुत सारे कैरेक्टर जो है इसके इर्द गिर्द इस बॉन्ड के इर्द गिर्द घूमते हैं और इनके स्पीचेस इसके इर्द गिर्द घूमते हैं और शायलोक ने और शेक्सपियर ने बखूबी सारे कैरेक्टर्स को बखूबी इस प्ले इस ड्रामा में डाला है जिस तरह से सभी प्लेज और सभी ड्रामा में होते हैं कि एक विलन होता है दो प्यार करने वाले होते हैं और एक उनका दोस्त होता है उसी तरह से हम यहाँ पर भी देखते हैं कि यहाँ दो प्यार करने वाले हैं दैट इज़ बसानियो एंड पोर्शिया एक उनका दोस्त है एंटोनियो और एक विलन है जो कि शायलोक शायलोक अपना रोल विलन का रोल बहुत ही बखूबी निभाता है या शायलोक ही नहीं बाकी सारे कैरेक्टर्स अपने अपने रोल पूरा अच्छी तरह निभाते हैं शेक्सपियर ने उन्हें बहुत अच्छी तरह डाला है और बखूबी सारे कैरेक्टर्स को अच्छी तरह पूरे ड्रामा में निभाया है तो ये था इंट्रोडक्शन थर्ड सीन का तो हम देखते हैं कि यहाँ थर्ड सीन में एक बॉन्ड का साइन किया जाता है बॉन्ड दो कैरेक्टर्स के बीच में दैट इज शायलोक एंड बेसैनियो के बीच में नाउ आगे बढ़ते हैं शायलोक के कैरेक्टर स्केच के ऊपर ताकि आपको इसे कनेक्ट करने में इस कैरेक्टर को प्ले के साथ ड्रामा के साथ कनेक्ट करने में और समझने में आपको आसानी होगी तो चलिए आगे बढ़ते हैं शायलोक के कैरेक्टर स्केच के साथ कमिंग टू द कैरेक्टर स्केच ऑफ शैलो शैलो इज ऑफ कॉम्प्लेक्स कैरेक्टर ही इज ब्लड थर्स्टी कर्निंग ग्रीडी एंड फेनाटिकल ही बेज बोथ इंटेलेक्चुअल स्ट्रेंथ एज वेल एज स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ पर्पज ही इज इज लाइफ इज डोमिनेटेड बाई इज पैशन फॉर मनी रिवेंज रेस एंड रिलीजन He has great passion for money. His love for money is so intense that he loves money more than anything in the world, more than his daughter. He is a devout Jew and he has a great passion for his race and religion. Shallux in humanity can be seen in all its fury in the trial scene. So friends, let's move to the main text of Act One, Scene Scene Three. So we'll uh, in this video we'll be doing from the explanations from line number one to twenty nine. so we see that the scene opens at a public place in venice and here we see the entry of two characters that is bisanio and shylock i already um, uh, told you about the character sketch of shylock so moving forward with the main text of the scene so moving to line number 1 shylock's speech uh, in the first line shylock says that 3000 ducats well so shylock says that 3000 ducats ducats is venetian gold coins are called ducats so he says that 3000 ducats that is 3000 venetian gold coins moving to line number 2 in with bisanio's speech bisanio says hey sir for 3 months so bisanio says yes sir for 3 months now moving forward with shallok's speech in line number 3 shallok says for 3 months well shallok says that you need this for 3 months well that is good that you need this for 3 months moving forward with shallok's speech in bisanio's speech in line number 4 and 5 Bisanio says for the which as i told you antonio shall be bound 
for that which that is for this that for three thousand rakets for three months and Antonio shall be the guarantee or Antonio shall be the uh, security for this reason. Shalok says in line number six. Shalok says Antonio shall become bound well. So Shalok mean to say that Antonio will become your security, your guarantor. That sounds good. So moving forward with Bassanio's speech in line number seven and eight. Bassanio says, may you steed me, will you pleasure me, shall I know your answer? So he means to say that, will you help me out, will you sort out my this problem, uh, this problem of mine and let me know your answer, can I know your answer to this? So moving forward with line number 9 and 10, Shalok's speech. Shalok says that 3,000 ducats for 3 months and Antonio bound. So Shalok, uh, Shalok here is satirically saying this to Bassanio. He is repeating his words that is 3,000 ducats for 3 months and Antonio shall be the guarantor or security. Bassanio says in line number 11, Bassanio says your answer to that. So Bassanio says what is your answer to that? He is asking for the answer to from Shalok. Now moving with Shalok's speech in line number 12, Shalok says that Antonio is a good man. Shalok means to say that yes, he is a good man. I know that he is a good man. Moving forward with Bassanio's speech in line number 13 and 14. Bassanio says, have you heard any imputation to the contrary? Contrary here means, contrary here is referred to as Antonio. So have you, Bassanio is asking, questioning as Shalok, that have you ever heard anything, any ill reputation about Antonio in the market of Venice? Shalok says in line number 15 to 29, Oh, no, no, no. My meaning in saying he is a good man is to have you understand me that he is sufficient. Means uh, Shalok mean to say that. I mean uh, Shalok says that. No, I mean to say that Antonio is sufficient enough as a guarantor or as, uh, or as a security because he is a good man. Now further moving with Shalok's speech, Shalok says that yet his means are in supposition. Shalok mean to say that his merchandise, his business is at risk at sea. So moving further with Shalok's speech, he says that he hath an argosy bound to Tripolis and other to the in Indies. Shalok says that his uh, his first uh, uh, one of his uh, one of his merchandise is at Tripolis and other to the Indies. So further moving with Shalok's speech, uh, Shalok says that. I understand moreover upon the Rialto, he had a third at Mexico, a fourth for England and other ventures he had squandered abroad. He, he, say, he mean to say that, Shalok mean to say that when he went to the Rialto, now what is Rialto? Rialto is a Venetian stock exchange where merchants of Venice went to, went to Rialto, that is to this stock exchange for the exchange of their goods and services. When this Shalok went to the Rialto, then he came to know from other money lenders or from other um, merchants of Venice uh, that Antonio's ships, the third one is at Mexico and the fourth one is to England and other ventures he had squandered or he has scattered all over the world, all over the world in all the directions of the world um, uh, and um, you can say unknowingly or unwillingly he has scattered without knowing what is the risk at sea. He has scattered all, all over the world in all the directions his ships that is moreover he mean to say that all the merchants or all the merchandise, merchandise of Antonio's are at sea at risk. So moving forward with Shalok's speech. Uh, Shalok further says in his speech, but ships are but boards, sailors but men. Shalok says that ships are nothing but board, but uh, pieces of wood. Uh, ships are nothing but they are pieces of wood and uh, the sailors are nothing but they are mortal men. Now he mean to say that ships can uh, that uh, ships can meet, meet with any natural calamities and also men can meet with any natural calamities at sea. Now he further says in his speech he says that there be land rates, land rats and water rats, um, water thieves and land thieves. I mean pirates. And then there is the peril of waters, winds and rocks. Now he mean to say that there can be robbers at sea, there can be pirates at sea and there can be the natural calamities of water, wind and rocks that can meet your merchandise, that can meet Antonio's merchandise at sea. Now he further mean to say that, he further says in his speech, Shalok further says in his speech, Shalok says that the man is not withstanding sufficient. 
that that is shallow mean to say that the man is sufficient enough as a guarantor as your security now further shallow says in his speech shallow says 3000 ducats i think i may take his bond now he further says 3000 ducats i think i should take this bond i should agree upon this bond this is what is meant by shallow in his speech from line number 15 to 29 now friends this was the total explanation from line number 1 to 29 in this videos uh, in this video now friends if you have any queries you can drop me in the comment section also if you want question and answers from important extracts you can drop me in the comment section and let me know from act 1 scene 1 and act 1 scene 2 so that i can help you out personally also friends for the upcoming videos stay tuned